Good morning, students. I am Naima Afrim, teacher of Class 3 from Mahmudpur branch. Welcome you all to today's online class. Students, how are you all? I hope you are fine with the grace of Almighty Allah. It's my great pleasure that we meet again, isn't it? Yes. Dear students, you know that we have already started our revision class. In the last class, we revised multiplication. Can you remember? Okay. Can you think today we are going to revise which chapter? Let me give you a clue. The method is opposite of multiplication. Now think which method is the inverse method of multiplication? Yes, you are right. Today's our topic is Our topic is division and you know that division is the inverse method of multiplication. So before starting our class, I want to share you, with you the basic things of division. Okay, are you ready for that? Students, you know that in our class 3 math question pattern, there is a short question answer. Uh, so, if you don't know the basic things of division, so I think it will not be possible for you to give the right answer. That's why I am repeating the basic information about division. Okay, all of you, I hope that you will listen to me attentively. Now I am starting the basic information about division. What is division? You know that division means the method of distributing some things among two or more than two groups is called division. Yes, you know the division means we have to distribute something among two person or two or more than two groups. Look at the picture here. I am giving a picture here. There is total 20 apples and there is four group. One, two, three, four. And I want to uh, distribute these 20 apples among the four groups. So, which method I have to use here? Yes, we have to use division method here because division means distribute. So, I am going to divide these 20 apples among four groups. Then what will happen? Then every group will get five apples equally. Is it clear to you? I hope so. So now I am going to repeat again the parts of division. You know students that in addition, in subtraction, in multiplication there are parts name like in subtraction uh, the parts name is uh, mu unit subtrahend difference like this in division also there are some parts and they have their individual name i know that you have learned it before but still now i am uh, discuss it again the division parts of division the you know that is in division part there is parts names are Dividend, divisor, quotient, and reminder. 
this is the parts of division so i am discussing here also what is dividend let's start the number which we have to divide is called dividend look i am giving here an example 42 and you know it is the sign of division divided by 6 equal to we got the answer here 7 and in, in this example which one is the dividend can you tell me yes the greater number always 42 is the greater number here so this greater number will be the uh, dividend and this greater number we have to divide that's why this 42 is called dividend here now go to the next part what is divisor what is divisor the number by which division is done is called divisor look here i am giving the same example here 42 divided by 6 equal to the result is what you have to read out which times table 6 then we got the answer 7 but in this part which one is the divisor can you tell yes this 6 is called the divisor here so now there are another part in the division we have to know it what is quotient what is quotient okay the answer is the number obtained after the division is called quotient again i am telling the number obtained after the division is called quotient dear students you know that in subtraction the answer the result is called difference in multiplication the answer is called product and division also the number obtained after the division or you can tell the result uh, of division is called quotient so i am writing an example here also 64 divided by 8 so what we got we got the answer if we read out the 8 times table then we got the answer 8 so here this 8 is called quotient this 8 is called quotient okay now the fourth part and it is the last part of division what is reminder okay i am giving the answer the left over number after doing the subtraction is called reminder okay look the i am uh, writing here an example you know the middle part is the dividend the three is the divisor here and now we will divide 29 by 3 so we know we have to read out the three times table three nines are what three nines are 29 no three nines are 27 there is no 29 in three times table so we have to know the rules how can we do the division i will show you later also so we have to take the nearest one three nines are 27 then what we have to do we have to do the subtraction here and after doing the subtraction this two has left here so this two is called reminder look what is the answer of reminder the leftover number after doing the subtraction here we have to write three nines are 27 so here it does not match up so we have to do the subtraction here uh, 9 minus 7 what will be there you have to use the finger line then we got 2 so 2 is the remainder here now most important thing uh, about division chapter that you do you know the division is called uh, repeated subtraction also okay students let's watch one video and i hope that after watching the video you will clearly understand why division is called repeated subtraction okay enjoy the video today we will learn that division is repeated subtraction division is an operation of dividing things in a group equal grouping 
can also be shown as repeated subtraction. We have to check how many 6 are there in 24. These are 24 mangoes. Take away first group of 6 mangoes. Now 18 mangoes are left. Take away next 6 mangoes. Now 12 mangoes are left. Take 6 more mangoes. Now 6 mangoes are left. When we take away the 4th group, we got 0. Group of 6 mangoes taken away 4 times by subtraction. We can write 24 divided by 6 is 4. 24 is total mangoes. 6 is mangoes in one group. 4 is number of times subtraction done. Ok students, I hope that after watching the video, you have understood why division is called repeated subtraction. Isn't it? Yes. Now, I am going to start our today's lesson. But, before going to start today's lesson, uh, I want to ask you a question. Can you remember the steps of doing division? Okay. Now, I am showing you again the steps of doing division. Look at my hand. What is the steps of doing the division? Compare, divide, multiply, subtraction and the last bring down. So I hope that if you remember these steps of doing division then you can easily do the division. Students you know we have already started our division class and I am going to check today revision class 3 page 68. So everybody take out your book and open page 68. Now from page 68 I am doing problem norm 1 of 6. Look at the screen I have written the problem here. Here is 683 is our dividend, 4 is our divisor. So, I am showing you the steps of division. What do we have to do first? Yes. We have to first do the compare of the digit. And you know students, in addition, subtraction and multiplication, we have started from the right side. But in the division, we have to start it from the which side? Tell me. Yes. We have to start it from the left side. Now look what is in the left side. 683. And the left side is 6. So we will divide all digits together. No. We have to take the first digit. We have to think about the first digit first. Look here. Here is 6. And our divisor is 4. So 6 is greater than 4. So usually we can uh, take first digit. So what we have to do now? We have to read out the multiplication of what? Yes, our divisor is 4. So we have to read out the 4 times 10. So we have to take first digit first because it is greater than 4. So read out. And you know the rules. What is the rules? Can you remember? Yes. We cannot take the number uh, that is greater than 6. We have to take less than 6 or equal to 6. So read out the times table with me. I have written here the times table for your better understand. 4 zero is a 0. 4 1 is a 4. 4 2 is a 8. So can we take 8? No. 8 will be greater than 6. So that's why we have to take the nearest number of 6. Here, nearest number of 6 is 4 ones are 4. I have written 4 ones are 4. So next part, what do we have to do? 
Yes, we have to do the subtraction. 6 minus 4, what will be there? 2. Now, the next step, we have to bring up down the number. These two numbers we have to bring down together? No. We cannot take, uh, bring down the two numbers together. First, we have to take the next number here. Then, 3 will be there. The next number is 8. So, I have bring down here 8. Now, it is 28. So, again, we have to read out the times table of 4. So, in 4 times table, is there in 28? Okay, let's start. Read the times table. 4 zeros are 0, 4 ones are 4, 4 twos are 8, 4 threes are 12, 4 fours are 16, 4 fives are 20, 4 sixes are 24, 4 sevens are? Yes, we got 28. So, we got 28 in 4 times tables. So, I have written 4 sevens are 28. And now do the again at subtraction 28 minus 28. What will be there? Tell me, yes, 28 minus 28, there will be nothing, 0. So, what do we have to do now? Again, we have one number left in the dividend. So, I have to write here, bring down these 3 here. But this 3 is remainder. Our division has done? No, this 3 is not the remainder because we know Remainder, whenever it will be remainder, it, uh, we have to get the remainder after doing the subtraction. But after doing the subtraction, we got 0 here. It is not remainder. So, I am now bring down 3. So, now again, we have to read out the time table of 4. So, we cannot, you know, that we cannot divide smaller number by the greater number. But... In 4 times table, there is a smaller number. Look, here, 4 zeros are 0. 4 ones are 4. But we cannot take this 4 because it will be greater than 4. So, we have to take this 4. Look, 4 ones are 4. So, we cannot take this 4 because uh, here, 4 will be greater than 3. That's why we have to take what? Four zeros are zero. This zero we have to place here. And this zero I have written below number three. So now do the subtraction. So we have get three minus zero. There will be what? Obviously three. So now we got the remainder. This three is our remainder. This 3 is not our reminder because these 3 we got after doing the subtraction. So now write down the answer here. You know how can we write the answer? Quotient 100 we got 170 and reminder 3. Have you understood this problem? So students we will do another problem today. Students, uh, now I will show you one word problem. But before going to show you word problem, uh, I want to tell you something that you know that uh, in word problem, the, they will give you some uh, information uh, and clue, isn't it? So in addition, in subtraction and multiplication word problem, we have found some clue word. In division word problem, there is also some clue word. What is the clue word? Okay, look, I am telling you, number, uh, there are some clue words that can be given in division word problem. Divide, share, divided by, equally, distribute, how many in each, and number 7, each. By this clue word, we can easily understand that we have to do the division, isn't it? Okay, now everybody open your book. Today I am showing you one word problem. Already we have done it before but as it is our revision class, I am uh, take it again. Page 69. Everybody open page 69. 
from page 69 we will do problem number 5 and I have written the problem here look I am read out the problem Reja has taka 532 if an egg cost taka 7 how many can he buy and how much money remains students you know that in what problem there are two part one part they will give you the information and another part will be the asking part okay so we have to find out which part is the informative part and which part is the asking part so look here they have given the information reza has taka 532 and one egg cost is what yes one egg cost is taka seven and look in this uh, what problem there are two asking part the two uh, one asking part is how many can he buy and how much money remains and with this 532 taka reza can buy how many eggs and after buying how many taka was left with him this we have to find out so you know we have to uh, arrange the word problem first we have to arrange the word problem solution i have written and you know what they are asking you in the problem we have to write it in which side yes we have to write it in right side and we have to find out what taka no we have to find out what they are asking you about egg that how many eggs he can buy that's why i am arranging this part in the right side look i have written taka seven is the price of one egg because one egg we have to find out egg here that's why i am writing it in the right side now below taka seven i have to write that buy this 532 taka how many eggs he can buy so i have written in the below for taka 532 ka is the price of now i have to arrange this here because it is division word problem i have to write the greater dividend number first 532 taka divide by 7 x now what we have to do we have to do the rough work look i have arranged here rough work 532 taka is our what yes our dividend and 7 because 1 egg price is 7 taka that's why 7 i have to write here by 7 i have to divide 532 taka and what we have to do first you know very well that we have to t uh, start from the left side and left side is 505 and compare the number it is smaller than 7 so we cannot take one digit here can you remember that 5 is smaller that's why you have to take two digit here that if I take two digit then it will become 53 now we have to read out what yes very important thing time table without time table we cannot do the division okay now read out 7 time table it should be what it should be equal or less than 53 uh, we cannot take the greater number than 53 so read out 7 times 7 7 0 is 0 7 1 is 7 7 2 is 14 7 3 is 21 7 4 is 22 8 7 5 is 35 7 6 is 42 7 7 is 49 7 8 is 56 oh no we cannot take 56 because it will be greater than 53 so you have to take the nearest one 7 7 is 49 then what we have to do we have to do the subtraction here look do the subtraction here is 3 and here is 9 so we cannot subtract smaller number from the greater number now that's why what we have to do we have to borrow 110 from the tens place then these 3 will become 13 and 13 minus 9 what will be there yes there will be 4 and as we are borrowing 1 
from the tens place then 5 will become 4. So 4 minus 4 there will be nothing. So we got 4 here and uh, then we have to bring down these two there. So it will become now 42. Then again we have to read out the 7 times table. So read out the 7 times table. Yes. In 7 times table if we read out 7 zeros are 0, 7 ones are 7, 7 twos are 40, 7 threes are 21, 7 fours are 28, 7 fives are 35, 7 six are what? 7 six are 42. Oh, we got it. 42 here. So 7 six are 42. Now we have to do the again subtraction. 42 minus 42, there will be nothing. 0. So we got what? We got the razor can buy 76 eggs and 0. And you may know that 0 has no value. So there is no Taka remain with him. So I have written 76 eggs, 0 Taka remains. And at the last, what do we have to do? Yes, we have to write the answer. Reza can buy 76 eggs and no money will remain. So all of you, Take out your CW copy and write down this two word program. Now students, it is time for what? Can you tell? Yes. It is time for our diary writing. Because without doing the homework or practice math every day, we cannot do well in math subject. So your homework is write down SW21. Do from page 69, problem wrong 1 of 12 and 16. And page 69, we have to do the word problem wrong 6. So students, write down this homework in your diary. Students, no more today. I hope that you enjoy your time with your family very nicely. Okay, have a great time.